You know, I'm most passionate when I'm in a hotel. I, you know, I kind of started in the business when I was 17 years old, so now when I go to a hotel and I'm in the back of the house, in the employee cafeteria, working with the employees, um, that's what I'm most passionate about. I really love to see service firsthand, and I firmly believe that happy associates make happy customers. So my goal is to really make Wyndham stand apart by having a very warm, um, to be very employee focused in a very warm, embracing sort of way. And can you pick out somebody that you think would be a mentor or somebody that you really admire? It could be inside the industry or outside the industry. You know, kind of a mentor, it's very interesting. Um, a gentleman I worked a long time ago, early in my career at Omni Hotels, he's now the president of a company in Dallas called Culinaire. They're a food and beverage company. His name is Bill Thompson. And he really, uh, I think, was a mentor of mine because he always, you know, we talked about the trilogy where you really have to make sure the employee's happy, the guest is happy, and the owner happy. So that always sticks in my mind, the trilogy of owner, employee, and customer. So uh, he always sticks out in my mind. But then other companies, I, I look, I think there's some good companies today that really I like companies that, that have done well and then all of a sudden like change themselves. So I look like at Apple. Apple to me really is on top of the on top of themselves right now and more and more people are, are changing from IBMs to Macs. So I think that's a company we need to watch for even uh, some greater things in the future. Now you travel a lot obviously in this position. Do you have a favorite travel spot, city, country that you could tell us about? You know, I would have to say I recently have fallen in love with Puerto Rico, believe it or not. We just purchased, uh, we did a joint venture deal where we now own the Rio Mar Resort there, which used to be a Westin, but now it's a Wyndham. I've been spending a lot of time in Puerto Rico, and I, my family went there on vacation this summer. And the people who work there and the employees, they're so warm and hospitable. And then I love the mountains of the rainforest and then the sea. So I've just really lately, Puerto Rico's top on my list. That's interesting. Now, uh, what, do you, what do you think you bring from a personal standpoint to the group? I think I bring passion. I mean, I love the hotel business. You know, I, I was the type of kid, you know, that was playing on the floor, building hotels out of blocks, my mom used to say. Where I got it from, I don't know. So I think I bring real passion. Um, I think I also bring innovation. I'm an out-of-box thinker, so I like to do things differently. And I'm always looking for self-improvement, because I think we can always do better, reach better. So I like the innovation aspect of it. Now, what about uh, something that you can think of that's been a real challenge? And how did you handle the challenge? I think the challenge today really is the industry has changed. It's a lot, I, I really call a lot of it the real estate business. Uh, you know, most of the hotels are owned by large REITs. Um, so it's very real estate focused and it's all about appreciation of the real estate asset. And sometimes that gets in the way of customer service, gets in the way of renovations. So uh, that's kind of made the industry a little bit different. And, and people also have more of a shorter term mentality where years ago somebody would own a hotel forever. And nowadays you'll see a, a group buy the hotel and two or three years later they sell the hotel. And uh, owner changes are difficult on a hotel. I mean, perfect example is this hotel here. It's a Hyatt this year. I think a year ago it was a Westin. Um, so, you know, and it, it's obviously had an ownership change. So um, that's a little bit challenging. How I deal with that, you know, I guess if I had the answer to that, I would probably be a lot richer. Um, I think I deal with it by creating strong relationships with owners and being attuned to the asset and making sure that we're meeting owners' needs. And then also being attuned to the fact that if they want to sell the asset, help them sell it, help them make their, make their, reap their rewards, and maybe we can get in, in with the new owner and, and continue the asset as a Wyndham. So uh, that's what I'd have to say. What, uh, why do you come to Alice and what, uh, what do you do here? I meet with potential customers. Mainly this is a development show, so most of the people who work on finding us new Wyndham hotels and resorts are here. But I like to also show my support with them. And a lot, a lot of people want to talk to the president and find out what's going on with the brand. So it's really a sales job. Mm -hmm. We just met with a, a, a company who's doing a brand new hotel outside of Chicago. And they're interested in talking to us at Wyndham. We have a meeting in about 15 minutes with another company that's looking at building some new hotels and resorts. And they're looking at Wyndham. So it's really a sales job. And I like doing that also because I love to talk about the brand and, 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 and what we can do for them.